let's talk about what's in this box. So, for a while now, I've actually been holding off on buying something this um, big. Uh, and definitely until it reached towards a price of which I would was willing to pay. And I have to say thank you to the Slick Deals community. Um, I mean, it's just amazing how many deals you can find on that website. But I was able to snag this printer for less than $120. Now, I actually have to give a quick uh, thank you and a quick shout out to the team at uh, Longer. Because um, I actually didn't order the version that you see on this box here, the Pro. I actually just ordered the LK4 version. And um, it was unfortunate that when I put my order in about two or three days later, they messaged me and told me that they didn't have that in stock. But have no fear, they did message me that they were going to upgrade me to a Pro, uh, which was like, more expensive and um, just better overall for free. So I have to just say thank you and um, I'm a total beginner. I have no idea how to put this thing together. Um, I'm gonna have to use, you know, like my phone here with YouTube and look at someone else doing this. Um, but, or I'll try to put it together myself. Uh, but um, let's get this bad boy open. Alrighty, um, ooh, looks like they gave us some tools. So, straight off the bat, we get this, uh, I think it's like a, a scalpel. We have some rod. Uh, we have a full, it does come with, and I've seen this in videos, but it does come with a, a flash drive with a micro SD. So you can, I think it's also preloaded with some prints. Um, you get some gray filament here stuff that I don't know what it's used for yet. So we're just gonna put to the side. Alright, so I actually found a video by Longer themselves on how to install. So first thing is to set the uh, power supply voltage. Okay, let's do that. And I'm just going to use one of these Allen keys because it doesn't look like it needs a really specific tool. And I almost just dropped this entire setup on the floor. Alright, cool. Now we're at 110. Awesome. What's next? Next, I'm supposed to install this thing here. It's going to align with these two notches over here. Um, uh, let me just move the camera to show you guys. So these two notches here, I'm just gonna take this and put it on top here. These ones, these M4 16s, I need two of these.
All right, next step after this is to stick the rod uh, through. But there's that little metal right here. We're gonna stick our rod that came with it through here and we're gonna screw it into that piece we just installed. Please don't fall. I'm an idiot, I could have just pulled it out. All right, so it seems like both ends are the same, so we're just gonna... Okay, now after getting this through, there seems to be some black nuts here that we need to tighten. So I'm just gonna grab the smallest. And we have it moving up and down, which is good. So now the next step in this video is to move it onto the entire thing. And it doesn't seem like there's actually that many more pieces to put together. So I think we should probably have this done in about like, I don't know, five minutes. That's how much left is on this video. The video is suggesting that I put this on like so. Making sure the, um, I guess the leg is lining up with the two holes that are apparent on each end of these, on, on the base. Which are these. And there is four of them. Oh, okay. And now we are going to install the filament holder. So that's what I'm going to do too. So in the video, it says to use this as a guideline for where you where you want your um, the end of your piece here to touch. So we're just gonna follow that. Same suggestion here. Yeah, I think that's perfect. All right, next step, we're going to install the. LCD. Okay, so one thing to note, you have to screw it on to um, only uh, two, two ends. So you can only screw it on this one and this one or this one and this one. Can't screw it in the middle. Well, this is the hotbed cable and this connects to this end here. needs to go in 10. 10 is here. So all these cables here have a label on them, right? Uh, a little yellow tag that is basically, you know, what the cable is. And it's broken down to the two categories of wires. Wires with four cables in it, wires with two cables. And if you take a look at this graph here, uh, you'll see that this side tells you a number of places where you're supposed to insert two wires and the number of places you're supposed to enter with four wires. And then using each of these labels here, you cross check to make sure that you're putting it in the right place. All right, new batteries in the camera. All right, so we are on the X four cable, four as in four wires, and we're supposed to insert this into the nine, nine location. We have two E cables. All right, so E2. E four goes into eight. Eight is right over here. There.
Okay, now we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see if it works. So this step here that I'm doing right now, I'm leveling it. So I'm going into the setting here. Uh, and I'm tapping on each of these one through fives. And I'm making sure that the gold tip at the end of there is touching this plate. Um, that is what I remember from watching online videos is what is called leveling. So just right now going in and each time that it's not touching, there's little knobs at the end of this plate that I'm using to uh, twist to get it to touch. Alright you guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, so far, so good. I The setup process, not so difficult. I'm going to wait till I have more experience with printing. Um, I don't want to let my inexperience uh, in 3D printing world ruin. Um, uh, a good review on a, on a product like this so I'll wait and uh, give an update later on but until then thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today Bye.